This is a 1929 Kissel White Eagle Model 95 Coupe Roadster. These cars were made in Hartford, Wisconsin. Tell us about the engine on this car. Okay, this is a straight eight. Uh, the block was Lycoming, and then Kissel fitted it with some of its own parts. Uh, lightweight Linite pistons and rods, and their own thin aluminum oil pan that holds, I believe, seven quarts of oil. And Kissel extensively tested all their cars before they were sent out to uh, be sold. Three-speed Warner transmission. The Kissel Company was in business in Hartford. It was a small family business. 1906, and their last production cars rolled out in about 1930. A few were unsold, and they titled them as 1931 cars, but by then the uh, company was in receivership. And who was the typical customer of a Kissel? The, the pricing for these cars was in the high middle, some high price range. So these were luxury cars? I would say so. Uh, in the 20s, when they were building their sportiest models, the, the Gold Bug Speedsters, uh, the Hollywood Elite, like when they had the big dealership in, in LA and it sold quite a few cars during that time. But in, uh, in the span of years, uh, about 30 years approximately, they sold only about really 35,000 cars that uh, the company produced. And how many of these White Eagles do you think still exist? Probably about a dozen, for what I can find. And, uh, in 29, they built about 400 vehicles, and about 90 in 1930. And as I was saying, about 16 of those got retitled as uh, 30 miles. I don't think any of those exist, but there are maybe, maybe three 30 cars, uh, three or four 1930 models in existence, and, and like I say, about a dozen 29s of different body styles. The speedsters to uh, Tourister, Phantoms, sedans, coupes like this one. And uh, they built them in three different, uh, with three different engine sizes. So some like only six, this straight eight, and also a larger straight eight. And how fast will this car cruise at? on the freeway. Well, the speedometer isn't working, <laughs> but I've had it. I would estimate uh, people driving behind me, friends driving behind me, so that I got up to 60, 65 with it. But I really wouldn't push it that hard. And what, what kind of condition was, it, was this car in when you found it? It was uh, partially restored. The owner, original owner, William Jackson of Nye, Montana, um, took it off, it took it apart, and uh, had restored the, the running gear, 
painted the wheels, painted the chassis and the fenders, but had left, had quite gotten to the body. Uh, that's when I took, that's when I bought the car and took over the restoration and then finished it. And I chose all uh, Kissel colors for this, of desert sand and red, derby red and tuxedo black. All original running gear in this car. Well, thank you for this tour, Mr. Garvin. And we look forward to doing another video in one of your many other classic cars. Thank you.